Across the world, tobacco usage accounts for about 8 million deaths each year, including 1.2 million as a result of non-smokers being exposed to secondhand smoke. Little wonder the World Health Organization, WHO, and the world at large takes out a day to raise awareness and draw global attention to the widespread prevalence of tobacco usage and the negative health effects. The yearly celebration educates the public on the dangers of using tobacco and what individuals can do to claim their right to health and healthy living while protecting future generations. While the campaign has met stiff opposition, especially from tobacco manufacturing companies, experts are of the view that illicit consumption of tobacco, especially among young people, is linked to the many mental cases springing up. A lot of things can lead to psychiatric cases, drug being one of those. With the increasing usage of tobacco and its attendant effects, especially on the family, what then is the way forward? Once you start, it is very difficult to stop. So the main thing is don't go there, don't even start, don't get involved. Starting is easy, getting out is a problem. You think you have the willpower to get out when you want to get out, it's not easy. While the NDLA is a federal agency, the drug situation is peculiar to every community. And so there is a need for all concerned, CDC members, religious leaders, uh, the general public, governments at all levels, there's need for all of us to collaborate because we cannot be at all points at the same time. So we need information to work with. People producing, for example, the illicit drugs like alcohol, tobacco, um, I think uh, government should negotiate with them to the point where Maybe they should make it become inaccessible by using heavy taxations. The theme for this year's celebration is We Need Food, Not Tobacco, which is intended to get tobacco producers to adopt sustainable and nutritious crops by providing awareness concerning marketing options and production alternatives. In Yenegua, Edith Yongiba, NTA News.